Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar with Chicago Integrated Movement Specialist. Thanks so much for watching this webinar. In the last few videos, we've talked about things that you can specifically do to help improve your health and fitness. Today we want to talk, talk about three things you can do to improve and help spinal health. Because again, your spine is a center of how you move and hold your body. So what are some key things that occur to people that create a lot of the low back dysfunction, hip dysfunction, pelvis dysfunction. One of the key things is how we sit. We've talked about sitting in the past, but I just want to show you a couple additional things of why sitting or how sitting creates problems for us. Too many of us sit in a poor position and that creates some of the dysfunction. You can do all the right stuff, all the right exercises, activities, stabilization patterns, and still have back pain if you sit wrong because most of us sit for the majority of our day. What do we do in sitting that creates our problems? Too many of us sit in a posterior tilt. We sit back on our tailbone rather than up on top of these big thick bones down here, our sits bones. We don't sit on top of our sits bones. So what that does is puts more pressure back into the tailbone area and it starts to flex our low back. Again, this is one of the biggest things that relates to our low back issues. So one thing we want to change is how we're sitting and the strategy that we're using to sit. So let's take a look at Ellen and I'll show you what this looks like in function. Ellen's sitting how most of uh, us sit. We sit too far forward where our hips are in front of our spines and then we try to correct our posture by bringing the chest up. So one thing we have to do is change how we put ourselves on the seat and then what, what do we do once we get into the seat. So Ellen I want you to stand up. The first thing I want you to do is step back to, towards the chair just a little bit more. And when you sit back, I want you to sit back, bend from the hips, and sit your butt way far back into the chair, then bring your torso up over your sits bones, okay? Next thing I want you to do is grab underneath one hip and pull it up and back. And again, if you're in an office complex, you look a little weird doing that, so just do it subtly. I do this all the time when I sit, especially in restaurants, and when I sit down at my chair at my desk to work. And do the other side, same thing. Now. The sits bones are wide, she's sitting on top of her sits bones, and now it's a nice stable base for her spine to sit on tall, sit up tall with. So now she's stacked over her, and that, over her pelvis, and she's got a good posture. The next thing we want to do once we get into this position is make sure that we're not gripping. A lot of us are grippers. We hold our, our abs in tight. We hold our back tight. What I want you to do is when you get sitting, nobody's looking at your abs, nobody's looking at your stomach, let it go. So you wanna feel your, your stomach and make sure it's nice and soft. Not that it's soft because there's adipose tissue, but the muscles themselves are soft. We should not be holding and gripping in through our abdominals and we should not be holding through our back. Let it go, let it relax. You will increase stress on your back if you're gripping all the time. It's like walking around with your biceps contracted all, all day long and not letting it go. But what happened to your elbow? You get elbow problems. Same thing with the back. When you grip, you're going to create back problems because you never let the back relax. So I want to make sure that Ellen lets her abs go and lets her back relax. Third thing I want to have her do, now we've had her sit right, stop some of her gripping, is now I want her to breathe down and back. So what I want her to do is put her fingers inside those points, these bones, these pointy bones in the front of your pelvis here. And I want her also to put her thumb in, this, in her sides. So again, she's got one finger in front of those pointy bones and one finger between her rib and her pelvis. I want her to breathe down into her fingers and wide into her thumbs. And I want her to feel that she's, she's expanding as she breathes. So breathe in, good, and breathe out and you may feel like one side is easier to breathe into. Focus on the side where you're not getting as much breath, make equal side to side. This will help you stabilize, it'll bring more oxygen throughout your body, and it'll help, you, help keep you from gripping. It's a great way to change your posture throughout the day. Stand up, sit back down, take five deep breaths into your lower abdomen and low back, and then continue your work. It changes that gripping pattern, changes your posture, gives you that little micro break that you need to de-stress your body and puts your spine in a better position so your spine then helps you accomplish your health and fitness goals. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it served you well. We'll catch you next time at Chicago Integrated Movement Specialists. Take care.